This short video has been created to show how the new teaching handbooks on Numicon Online are easy to navigate and can save you time. We have put everything that you will need to plan and prepare for teaching with a Numicon approach in one place. There's one easy login, And from here, you can find the new digital teaching handbooks, as well as the award-winning interactive whiteboard software and the teaching and assessment resources. This means that whatever you are planning to teach, you just need this one login to find everything that you need. We're going to look at this new feature, the teaching handbooks. This provides the key content for teaching every activity from the Numicon teaching resource handbooks including any printable worksheets with implementation support from the implementation guides. When you choose the Numicon Teaching Handbooks option at the top of the page, you will find a quick summary of the resource, some quick navigation boxes, and then an easy search and filter tool to help you find what you're looking for. You can use the search and filters to look for content in different ways. You can find lessons by year level or by maths topic. If you are looking for a lesson on anything in one of the UK curricula, then you can find it here. If you're following the Numicon progression, you will find everything here as you are used to in the print. We're going to look at how you can easily find specific lessons and support for specific topics. For example, if you are teaching year four and you want to teach negative numbers, then you can use the filters to find this. Choose year four from the first filter. Then you can choose negative numbers from the maths topic filter. Alternatively, you can type negative numbers in the search box. You will see that as you type this, some activity suggestions come up. So if you see the one that you are looking for, you can just select it from here. I'm just going to press enter and it will filter. You will see that this gives me six activity options on negative numbers for year four. These move through an activity group in Numicon 4. Because I know that I'm starting to teach negative numbers, I'm going to choose the first activity. And your activity screen will appear like this. The tabs across the top will help you to work through the activity. In the intro tab, you will see all the learning opportunities for this activity, as well as the mathematical language and terms to use with children in conversation. There is also a helpful list of any materials you may need to gather for this activity. Next, there is a helpful links tab, which provides links to any resources you may need to access during this activity. I'll show you the full group activity group overview, as this gives you an overview of the whole group of activities, so everything connected with the subject, the topic of negative numbers. Another useful link here is to the starter image. This starter image is a great way of starting a maths lesson and getting a conversation going. And you can simply click on it to display to the class on your interactive whiteboard. Talking of the interactive whiteboard, there's a helpful link here to open the Numicon interactive whiteboard software. You will also find on this tab some suggestions for next steps, things that you may want to use as follow-up at the end of the activity. You can then follow the tabs to work through the simple steps of a lesson. Any resources that you might want to download and print have handy links here. And again, any images can be easily displayed in class. Just by clicking on the word image, it will display here. At the end of the activity, 
you will find a plus tab where there are suggestions for further paired, group or individual work. If you have the Numicon pupil books, there is a reference to the relevant pages in the books for further practice and greater depth. So that's a walkthrough of a lesson showing you how easy it is to use the Numicon approach in the classroom and to have all your planning to hand digitally.